Hi friends, welcome to Aisha DIY. Today um, we are going to learn how to make this cute musical note sign. Um, this is a bigger size and this is a smaller size. I am planning to make one more so that I can keep the smaller size for the earrings and the bigger one for the pendant. The It is the same pattern and same things that we are going to do and uh, i have some lamp work beads which is like um, flower with petals so i have three of those and then i have some three millimeter um, dyed jade in a pink color and um, um, it's round so those are the things that i have then you need um, 24 gauge wire and 26 gauge wire i have in gold and then some 20 gauge wire and tools wise we need round nose pliers uh, flat nose pliers needle nose pliers and wire cutters and if you need to straighten your wire then obviously nylon jaw pliers these are the tools that we need and a ruler of course to measure your wire so i'm going to measure this 20 gauge wire to about 10 centimeters um, this is for the smaller size if you want to make a bigger um, note sign then you need at least 20 centimeters or less uh, depending upon how big you want your pendant or you can have those for earrings too so it depends upon how big you want them so i have here 10 centimeters of 20 gauge wire i have straightened those and then you also will need um, some 26 um, gauge wire uh, to wrap around these things. So you will need that too. So if when you're ready with everything that you have, then we'll get started. So gather your supplies. If your wire is not rounded like this, go ahead, snip can you see the wire is not rounded here so i'll go ahead and snip off a little bit to make the wire round so let's go ahead and make our um, loop with our round nose pliers so it's recommended that um you get a good they will always say invest in good pliers but um, I also agree with it but when you're starting you can use pliers these these uh, uh, this pair of round nose pliers I got from Daiso Japan so that also works so here I have I'm just making a small loop so I'm not um, s making the loop completely I'm just bending the wire as if I'm making a loop if that makes clear and then I'm see I'm circling it like this I'm just rotating it in a circular motion so that I get a shape like this like a candy cane but more of a circular candy cane so I am going to have this as my guide because I want to make a similar pair but wire working is more like um a slow thing um don't rush through things if you don't rush through things then your um piece will come out perfectly that's what i like to use a towel to straighten my wire if there is a little bit of a kink so there you go and now i just I just want to make sure that my coil is round so I'm just holding the inner coil and then I'm making the coil I mean so little bit more so you can use your pliers too 
but hands are your best too. So you can always widen your thing and then come back again. And now again, I am testing it with my pair here and I'm happy with it. So all I'm doing is I'm just gonna bend this almost like this and then So this is what we have and then over here and I'm just gonna bend with my fingers so I have this as a guide to guide me now I'm happy with it so I'll take this down I'll take this underneath my thing and I am a little short So let's see if we can still make this earrings and all I need to do is I need to make a loop at the end just a small loop would do so this is what my musical note looks like maybe if I flatten it oh it became very small than this so that's okay all you need to do is take your pat nose pliers and just squish the small loop and I kind of like this um, coil much better than the one that I made over there so I'm happy with it just adjusting it a little bit and this note looks nice all you need to do now is just move this like this and then keep this on top of a um, bench block like this and then hammer it out and hammer this side also and then once both are done then you can squish it back to its shape and then hammer both on this over here so it'll be a loud bang if i do it on the camera so i'm gonna just use this to make the earrings now i'll take about nine centimeters of 24 gauge wire and then i'm gonna put it inside here in the end I'm just gonna uh, take my down nose pliers and then just form a loop just make a don't make a loop but just do the U shape and then take your pliers to just squish it a little bit so that you will have the teeny tiny loop possible so all we are aiming here is that we are making an eye pin but um, oh god my lamp would be this big as big hole so i'm thinking of making a small coil out of this so that it will hold its um so it won't the wire won't go through the bead completely so i think this small spiral would help the bead not to go through the wire let's check it out yes it didn't and at the same time it's like a small thing over there okay all i need to do now is make a wrapped loop so when i'm making a wrapped loop before i end this wrapped loop i just insert this inside my loop right here actually this is open we can also do it later so all you need to do is hold it hold the loop with your round nose pliers and go ahead and wrap it around I want to wrap it around really nicely so that um, I 
can heighten the blue color as much as possible i think this is good enough now snip off the wire and use your needle nose pliers or flat nose pliers to tuck in the tail always make sure you tuck in the tail otherwise it will catch onto your dress or to your hair and it's kind of uh, not a good feeling so this is what i have now all i need to do is um loop it around the the sign this can be a pendant this can be earrings as you wish now i will go ahead and then um close this loop completely so my pretty lamp work bead doesn't fall off there you go now it will never fall off all you need to do now is make a ear wire so to make a ear wire you can take up to 1.75 inches of wire make sure you have your wire straightened and the ends are snipped off flush to touch and then the same here one end of this wire is not flush to touch so i'm snipping it off now i'll go ahead and measure with the one that i already have i don't want two different sizes for my ear pairs my wire cutters have become a little bit blunt so i have an even size all you need to do now is take your hand nose pliers and make a loop a basic loop like that and then you can take your down nose pliers keep it almost uh, almost at the edge and then wrap it around that way you'll have a perfect loop and all you need to do is take your flat nose pliers and bend the wire a little bit so you have your own ear wire that matches your entire work so this is a 20 gauge wire now you can add this to this so that's a pretty earring that you have here so now i want to wire wrap this coil with this gemstone three millimeter beads so i am working off with my spool because i'm comfortable that way uh, but if you want you can cut it off you can cut like 30 centimeters of wire for instance more is good less is not good not good you can always add it but i would prefer to not add the wire so all you need to do now is insert this wire just move this tail like a little bit here so that it doesn't bother your coils so now insert your wire like that and then take the short tail or you can take the long one insert it you can also use a 26 gauge wire for this but a 24 gauge wire also should look good for this project so
that has become a little bit tricky so taking off my 24 gauge wire I think it's because of 24 gauge it's a little bit stubborn So now I can start the wrap over here too. But I don't want to distort the shape of my um, this thing. So I would like to use a thinner wire so that I don't distort that shape. So I would take 30 centimeters of wire and then I would start wrapping from here from the outer edge that way I get a I think this is also a thicker wire Finally, wrap it around a couple of times just to have a start, and then once you have the two wraps, then it's easier to work with then you can move this all the way around to the center of the coil rather than starting at the center which is difficult so there you go now we have it at the center and then if you want you can do one more wraps or get this tail away like this so now add your three millimeter beads you can use any beads you want crystals even seed beads are also fine i just chose this um, because i like the color combination and i happen to have this so you can put one in the center like that and then insert the wire across the loop and Let's take the wire down there you go and now insert this end again Now reposition your bead and make the loop tight so that the bead is anchored in the center of the thing. Now again. it's easy to get kings but if you work slowly and kind of keep the wire untangled just kind of get easier and if you make the wraps closer to each other that also helps It's almost anchored here so now I can move to the next side
the wire is trying to get kinked. So now I'm happy with that wrap and it's secure. All I need to do now is cut this off. Snip this off. And then snip this tail off here. And then tuck the tail in. So this looks good. You, if you want, you can wrap all the outer circle with the bead. But I think this looks pretty for me. I have to go ahead and stamp a little bit. Now I take my um, lampwood bead. I have about 20 centimeter of 26 gauge wire and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this bead right in the middle of the wire and then I'm gonna insert Straighten this wire a little bit. Use your nylon job pliers and then insert this lampwood bead through both the wires. Just feed the wires, means feed both the wires, and all you need to do is, is twist this. You can use your pliers to do that. it off and twist it a little bit. There you go. So this is what we have so far and now we can make a wrapped loop with both the wires in hand. So So before you close the loop, try to put it in between these two coils. And then grab a hold of this loop. So there we go. We made a wrap loop and snip off the excess wire and tuck in the tail, straighten your loops a little bit.
there is our pendant. So you can add this to a chain or you can stamp it more so that this is straight or you can use your um, nylon jaw pliers to hold it like this so that it becomes flat. If you can see this is almost flat. So because we have worked with the wire and everything for the wraps so that's why it's like this so if you hold it together for some time it should be good or you can stamp on top of this so that it's nice and good so there you have the beautiful pendant and a pair of earrings i mean i have to make the other one but we have one of the pair of earrings and one of the one of the pendant so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Bye.